Ben Hever here from Kingdom May, and I'm joined now by Brad Pickett, one of the uh, greatest UK fighters. Thank you. And uh, you've announced recently that you're going to be uh, becoming a promoter. You've got your own show next yep. month, Rise of Champions. Yeah. Um, first of all, how did you decide that you wanted to to go ahead and, and become a promoter? Um, it's kind of like uh, I've been in the, in the game for a very long time. I've been around a lot of shows from smaller shows to bigger shows so I kind of like in my eyes I have a good interpretation of what I, I feel like a nice little run show can be and I just feel for me obviously I'm planting the seeds for after my career to what you know what, what to do and stuff and I think um, to be honest one of my main emphasis on the show was when I, when I started fighting there was never a um, a real career option for someone as a fighter. It was just like you got in there at a fight because you like doing it, and, it, and it, I was a competitive person. That's what you did. And then now I think, with the, as long as I've been in the sport, you can see there's actually a, a viable way now to go and make a career out of MMA. You, know, you get into the big shows, you earn good money, and you can make a living out of it. So uh, I felt that you know, I believe I could run a good enough show where it's all about younger not not just young guys but young talent you know uh, who have you want to grow and have a little bit of a feeling of a a nice organized run show where it's about you know talent rather than about people just look like sell tickets and just want to have it large and drink beer it's more about athletes and stuff like that so that's the sort of show that angle i want to go for and uh yeah i hope it's going to be a successful thing uh, obviously i don't want to do uh rise too quick I got one of a slow burner and kind of build a brand you know and uh, you can see from the card that's already been announced there's a lot of uh, amateur fights there yeah. with a couple of pro fights on yeah. the top there yeah. is that something you're saying like you're trying to yeah. build the amateurs I'm saying yeah that's what it's all about because I mean I want to build a platform for people to grow I don't, it's not, I don't want to like compete with you know, I don't want to I'm not competing with anybody if that yeah. makes sense my show is not like you're not going to be like anyone else's show my show is my show and how in interpret how he wants to be uh, so yeah I'm, I'm literally going to always is going to be predominantly amateurs with a pro main card so the main card would be professional so I have like four to five fights on a, on a pro main card and the rest would be amateur fights with this being your your first show um, we've noticed it's, it's not uh, safe MMA registered is that, is that something that you're looking at doing maybe for the down the line or, or what reasons have you got for Oh, well, to, be honest, to be honest, no one's ever contacted me from Safe MMA, so, you know, for me, I, there again, I've been around the scene for a very long, long time. I, I know, how, I in my eyes, I think I could have a very professional run show with or without them. Um, I'm having a full medic staff. I have my brother-in-law's a doctor. I have a few other doctors. We're going to be over-staffed to make sure it runs smoothly and, and really well. And, uh, you know, I have my own commission coming in. Yeah, I, I, I'm, it'd be run very well, a very organized run show. So, uh, yeah, no one's ever contacted me from them. So, I'm not even, it's not even been a conversation, yeah. to be honest. If, if there was to be a conversation, would it be something that you'd be interested in, or? I have to see after the conversation. That, you know, I mean, I yep. have to see the conversation go you know, one or two ways, you know? Yep. And um, of the, the pro fights that you have announced, you've got uh, David Round and Bill Bowman, yep. which is going to be a hell of a scrap. Both, very, very both guys scrap, are... Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, this is what, again, a bit of an emphasis of, of my show. I have uh, Bill Bowman, a, a young up-and-comer, 6-0, versus David Round, a, a veteran with 29 fights, 16 and 13. You know, so it's one of those ones, a young up-and-comer versus a, a seasoned veteran, you know, who's been around and fought who's who within the UK, you know, so that's the kind of thing I'm doing with my show. And then you announced the main event last week yeah. with uh, Bowler yeah. coming into fight. Um, obviously, he's had a couple of pull-outs. Was, was that more while you were trying to get him a fight with... From no, team, or yeah, was it was planned to be yeah, there? Yeah, like, I would like to have Bob on the show, but yeah, definitely with Dennis Sutherland not making his fight, I don't want him to have a missed training camp, so I've definitely brought him on a card. Also, I have uh, you know, um, someone else, actually, I can't really say now, I ain't announced it, but I have someone else on, on, on the card who's fought recently, who's very good, you know, so that's kind of like I'm trying to put on good top four fights, and yeah, yeah I can't announce them all yet, but it'll be, definitely be a good show, so you have to stay tuned. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it, and we'll speak to you again in the future. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.